Hey everybody, this is Keegan here, and welcome back to the channel, and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. And today I'm bringing you guys a Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray update for Friday, February 4th, 2022. And for today's update, I got two Blu-rays and one 4K Blu-ray to show. So, two weeks ago, I ordered a Blu-ray off of Amazon, and I got it in the mail on Wednesday. And I also ordered another blu-ray on ebay well i ordered on ebay two weeks ago at the same time i ordered this one blu-ray i ordered on amazon two weeks ago and last week i ordered yet another well i ordered a 4k blu-ray off of amazon and i got it in the mail yesterday and uh yeah so i don't really have too much else to say so uh, we're going to get started with the Blu-rays, and the first one is a TV season. So without further ado, let's get started with the update. And the first one we have here is a TV season, and that is the 2000 in... Um, it doesn't say what when this Blu-ray was released, but I believe this was 2017 or 2018. And that is Attack on Titan Season 2. And this season originally aired in 2017. And I do have the first season on Blu-ray, like both parts of season one. And now I have season two. And this is a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. So anyways, here's the front. Here's the spine. Here's the other spine. And the back. Attack on Titan has proven there's really nothing else like it, like it in anime, says Anime News Network. Humanity met its match. And special features includes episode commentaries, Anime Expo 2017 interviews with Trina Nishimura, Tetsuya Kinoshita, and Yui Ishikawa. Attack on Titan Season 2 interview with original creator Hajami Isayama. Inside the episode, Eye Catch Gallery promo video, textless opening and closing songs, and trailers. And those are all the special features. This is a Funimation uh, Blu-ray release. It's not rated in Canada, but in America it's rated TVMA, and the total running time is... Uh, total running time is... 300 minutes. Here's this one with the Blu-ray with episodes 26 through 32. And here's this two with episodes 33 to 37. And in total, there are 13 episodes in this season. And here's the DVD disc. And it has some artwork on the uh, in the inside, which looks really nice. And Attack on Titan is an amazing show. I really like it. I'm actually still on the first season, but I'm almost finished it. And I'm actually planning to finish the first season this weekend. And I will definitely start the second season. And it's a really, really great show. I will definitely get season three, parts one and part two, and the first half of season four eventually. I know they're currently airing the second half of season four, which season four is the last season in the series. But yeah, I'll definitely get season three at some point. But uh, once again, Attack on Titan, amazing show. And now onto the other Blu-ray for this update, and this is the last Blu-ray for this update. And that is the 2014 Blu-ray release of Under the Skin. This is a 2013 movie with Scarlett Johansson. Lovely, lethal, and out of this world, says the New York Times. A mesmerizing performance by Scarlett Johansson, says the Washington Post. A genesis moment of science, of sci-fi fable, says the, the Los Angeles Times. Unique, original, and mind-blowing, says the Playlist. And it's a film by Jonathan Glazer, who also directed Birth and Sexy Beast. But anyways, here's the front. Here's the spine. And the back. A mind-melting masterpiece, says the village voice. Floods your senses with something extraordinary, says the Rolling Stone. An erotic performance unlike anything Scarlett 
Johansson has ever done since Indy Wire. And it's, the only special feature on here is the making of Under the Skin. And that's pretty much it. This is an A24 movie co-produced with Film 4, British Film Institute, Silver Reel, Creative Scotland, and Film Nation Entertainment. And this Blu-ray was released by Lionsgate, and this is an American copy. The Canadian releases are released by Mongrel, I believe. Anyways, this is rated R for graphic nudity, sexual content, some violence, and language, and the running time is 108 minutes. And here's the disc, and it's just the boring gray disc. Comes with a digital code, but this expired on July 15th, 2015. And I've been looking for this Blu-ray for the longest time, and now I finally have it. And I haven't watched this movie yet, but I hear nothing but pretty good, pretty good things about it. And it does look like an interesting movie, so I'm going to have to sit down and give this movie a watch sometime soon. So anyways, it's under the skin. And now lastly, onto the 4K Blu-ray for this update. The only 4K Blu-ray Blu for this update. Now, if you've seen my last video that I did, you know that this is actually an upgrade for my Blu-ray copy. And that is the 2022 Blu-ray release of The Piano. And this is a Criterion Collection release. And this is a 1993 movie and it's a film by Jane Campion. And this is also my first ever 4K Blu-ray Criterion that I own. But in general, this is my 40th or 40, 41st Criterion that I own. But this is my first uh, 4K Criterion, like I said before. So anyways, here's the front. Here's the spine. And this is spine number 1110. And the back. And this movie stars Holly Hunter, Harvey Keitel, Sam Neill. With Anna Paquin, Kiri Walker, and Jean Veli Lemon. I think I said that name right. Jean Vivi Lemon. Yeah, that's how you say it. Special features includes new restored 4K digital transfer supervised and approved by director Jane Campion and director of photography Stuart Dry Bro with 5.1 surround DTS HD master audio soundtrack, one 4K U8 Ultra HD disc presented in Dibaldi Vision HDR with one Blu-ray with the film with and special features. And the special features are audio commentaries featuring Campion and producer Jan Campion. New conversation between Campion and film critic Amy Tobin. New interviews with Dry Burrow, production designer Andrew McAlfie. Marioni Ad... Ad... Hold on. And Mariori Advisor Warhari Scotland. Interview with actor Holly Hunter on working with Campion. The Piano at 25, a program featuring conversation between Campion and Chapman. Jan Chapman, that's what I meant to say there. Interview with composer Michael Nyman. An excerpt from an interview with costume designer Janet Patterson. Inside the Piano, a featurette including interviews with Hunter and actors Harvey Keitel and Sam Neill. The Water Diary, a 2006 short film by Campion. Trailer, new English subtitle translation and English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Plus an essay by critic Carmen Gray. And those are all the special features. And this is originally a Miramax movie, but it doesn't look like it's shown at all. I didn't check the opening for this Blu-ray yet. I mean, 4K Blu-ray yet, but I probably will eventually. But it does have the TFI Studio on it. And it doesn't have the movie's rating, but the movie is rated R, and the running time is 120 minutes. And the movie is rated 18A in Canada. And, uh... Oh, shit. Uh, didn't want to rip that. But anyways, here's the disc with the 4K. 
And here's the disc with the Blu-ray. And it has a... Uh, I like the artwork. It's actually a scene from the movie. I believe it was around the beginning of the movie when they arrive in New Zealand or something. Like at the beach around the beginning of the movie. That's uh, beautifully uh, drawn, I will say that. And it comes with a little uh, booklet or whatever that I'm going to show off really quickly. It has an essay titled Gothic Gone South by Carmen Gray. And if you uh, open it up the other way, it has some more stuff, like the production credits, another drawing, and another drawing, which is actually a scene from the movie. And I'm pretty sure this one right there is most likely from the, the sex scene in the, the movie. I have seen this movie before two years ago, and this is a fantastic movie, and I think this is and this is definitely one of my all-time favorite movies. It's a beautifully shot film and a very well-acted film. I actually did a review of this movie on my channel back in 2020, if you want to check it out. I also did a review of Boys in the Hood in that video. But if you haven't seen The Piano, definitely check it out. It's a really great movie. I also recommend the new movie that Jane Campion did recently, The Power of the Dog. That's another really great movie. I did a review of that one a little while ago. So anyways, that's The Piano. And that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And feel free to follow me on my Instagram and my letterbox. The links are in the description down below. And uh, yeah, guys, so that wraps up the video. I don't really have anything else to add, but thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.